Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this yet, but I've been working on something very big, very special. <laughs> Dad, listen up, please. Tino. We are going to steal. Yeah, look, while minions and shrink rays might all seem a bit far-fetched, because, well, they are, the truth is that a lot of people do have their eyes on... The moon! Right now, there are heaps of projects around the world aiming to get there, whether it's to build lunar bases, take tourists on tours, or even mining the moon. There are a lot of particularly private industries interested in going to the moon. This is Alice Gorman. She's a space archaeologist. Cool, right? Yeah, I mean, she's no super villain, but, you know. I'm not talking to you. Anyway, her work involves looking at artefacts from space and using them to help study the past. And for people like Alice, the moon is more than just a resource. It's a monument. A monument, if you will. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Remember this? Oh, well, you probably don't because it happened in 1969, but trust me, it was a big deal. They left behind them their descent vehicle, a whole bunch of scientific experiments, the boot prints, uh, places where they took cores and samples. Yep, those early astronauts and those that came after them left a whole heap of artefacts that people like Alice want to protect. Remember, there's, there's about a hundred places where something has touched the lunar surface that humans have made. Even if we didn't think they were interesting and important places to keep for us to understand, we have a responsibility to those future generations who may have completely different ideas, completely different scientific techniques. It's why a US organisation recently added our favourite orbiting rock to the World Monuments Fund watch list. It's a list that draws attention to vulnerable historic sites that need protection. Places like the Longman Grottoes in China, the Waru Waru Fields in Peru, and Angola's Spaceship Cinema. Yeah, all pretty cool. But this is the first site that's literally out of this world. <laughs> Being on that watch list brought it to the attention of so many people who'd never heard of lunar cultural heritage. You see, right now, there aren't any laws protecting the moon. There is a famous treaty called the Outer Space Treaty, but no one owns the moon, and technically, everyone can do what they want with it. At the moment, the moon is very vulnerable, and there isn't yet any system like we have on Earth, like mining leases or mining tenements. And that's something a lot of people want to change, so that folk like this guy can't just rock up to our space rock and steal its resources. Whatever, I'll leave the moon alone, OK? <laughs> Stop laughing, Dave! 